Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today we will be taking a closer look at the completely revealed starter deck 14 with the Black Monkey the Luffy leader. So as of now we have already seen every card which is going to be included in this deck and we know that uh, the uh, people from Asia will have access to this deck at the 27th of April so in the near near future we will actually see uh, what cards are going to be used in this deck and if the deck is successful and is going to win any tournaments but I think this deck will be quite fine uh, because black right now is really strong and this deck itself has also some really really strong cards and I think that it will do just fine so we will get this deck actually uh, in mid or late August so we will have some time to take a closer look at what Asia is doing with this deck and we can just sit here and wait sadly but for now we can take a closer look at all of the cards so basically for our first card we have the 8 cost 10,000 power monkey de Luffy he basically gains rush if you have a cost 10 or greater character on your field um, basically you have your stage card, all of your black straw hat type characters get plus one, so if you manage to give him like an extra one cost, he can give himself rush. This is pretty nice, I don't see him as a staple, but I can see this card being like your uh, big finisher, because I mean 10,000 rush is strong, so this card could actually see some big use and it has some potential. So we will see about that. Then we have our first event. I have my crew. Uh, this is uh, the main effect, draw one card and after this give up to one of your opponent's characters uh, plus three cost until the end of your opponent's next turn, which is all right. Uh, and then the trigger is KO up to one of your opponent's three cost or lower characters. Um, this is a card you would actually play on Dawn 1 simply to draw something or you could actually uh, wait and use this card to give one of your uh, characters such as Frankie with him being a 5 cost you could actually use this card to uh, accelerate his cost to uh, 8 or boost him up to 8 so that some cards actually gain uh, their effects but there is also nothing wrong with uh, this card just to play on Don Juan to cycle your hand a bit and get something better if you bricked so pretty okay card uh, will most likely be included and as a four off i mean and this card is uh it's pretty good itself there's nothing much to say about that then we have our first vanilla chopper he is your uh, generic four cost 6k he has a wonky counter this is all right most likely won't be included uh, because you actually need to boost him up to uh, eight so basically you need to boost four cost uh, which is maybe a bit much I don't know for sure I don't know how much boosting power this deck really have or will have so my first guess is that this card won't be included but it has a really cool artwork though then we have Frankie he is your 5 cost 6k 1k counter and uh, his effect is during your opponent's turn if he has a Dawn attached if you have a 6 cost or above character on your field this character cannot be killed by battle uh, by effects and he also gains plus 2000 power so basically this is a character that will uh, stick on your field because he will be an 8k and most likely will be having more than 5 costs so he will be pretty hard to get rid of he's there to annoy your opponent and he definitely will so this card mm, I do see him in the decks but he will not be your key card uh, maybe in the mid game to simply harass your opponent and annoy him but this is not your key card. Then we have our first counter, Gom Gom Giant Rifle. Uh, if you control a cost 8 or greater character, give up to one of the leader characters plus 3000. This is a pretty generic, but with uh, with that card being a one, uh, one Dawn card, this is pretty alright. 3000 for one Dawn is alright. And the trigger is add up to uh, two, add up to one co uh, My god. This is such a tongue breaker. Add up to one, two cost or lower character from your trash to your hand. So then we have another two vanilla cards. Um, both of them look beautiful, stunning. Total could have easily been like a super rare or whatever. Just not a common. This is an amazing artwork. Brook as well. But I do see Zoro a bit um, more as a as a, a value card because. He is closer to the 8 cost than Brook is and I don't see 
uh, this deck playing uh, that many vanillas so if you use vanilla cards it will most likely be just Zoro or maybe Brook but I'm not quite sure I don't think that this is that this is the way I think that you could run like two or three Zoros just just for the sake of them being an 8 cost character and having great power to just give your other cards the effect um, but I don't see Chopper or Brook if they're going to be included Vanillas it's most likely going to be Zoro then we have the card with the longest name with the most intense name uh, I'm going to read it for you guys hopefully in uh, in one go this is Gum Gum Diablo free sword style Muton Jet 600 pound cannon this is awesome this is just awesome the artwork and the name it's like one of a kind basically the card itself is great the main effect give uh, your leader or up to one of your characters plus 3000 power for this turn if you have a cost 8 or greater character in play KO up to one of your opponents cost 2 or less character and the trigger is if you have a cost 8 or greater character in play KO up to one of your opponents cost 5 or lower characters this card is awesome this card will most likely be as a 4 of and it's it's just it's just amazing all of the cards is amazing i mean the name looks like a cheat code this is insane it's a really great card but it's not as great as nico robin here this is easily and by far the best card in this deck she is a six cost a 7000 power and a 1k counter which is almost too much if you would have showed me the card counterless i would have said damn what a great card i will use her as a four of uh, immediately but her being a 1k counter is almost too much i mean her effect is on play and when attacking both of them this is insane uh, if you have an 8 cost or above character on the field choose one of your opponent's characters during this turn and give them minus 5 cost this is like a kuzan on steroids it is i mean to be fair she only works in this deck i don't see nico robin working in another black deck uh as far as the black decks we have right now if we will get another black deck in the future that actually works with high cost instead of low cost maybe but as of now this is like the only deck she will actually be used but i mean definitely as a four of nico robin is like insane like giving minus five when attacking an on play this is unbelievably strong then we have our one cost cards both of them are a 2k counter we have Heracles, he actually has the effect uh, activate main, you rest his card and give up to one of your black straw hat uh, characters plus two cost until the start of your opponent's next turn. So, I mean, I don't see this card survive the other turn if you actually use the effect, but it's nice that you can give your character plus two cost. Also the same with uh, Haridas, he also has uh, activate main, rest his card, give a straw hat plus two cost until the end of your opponent's next turn, all right. But after this, um, if you control a cost 8 or higher character, draw one card and trash one. Uh, I mean, uh, Haridis has a bit, a bit more. He actually helps you cycle and draw, which is a bit more valuable in my opinion. But I see both uh, cards actually being used because you need 2k counters and both of them are useful. So most likely you will need both of them, but maybe the future will show, uh, will show something else. So then we have the infamous stage card, Thousand Sunny. This is just a one cost, which is great. Uh, the basic effect is your black characters with destroyer types uh, have plus one cost. So this helps you a lot. Really, this helps you uh, a ton. And on play, you just get to draw a card. This is insane. So basically, you play this card, you draw a card, and then all of your cards have plus one. This is amazing. Then we have our first super rare. This is Sanji, him being counterless a 5 cost 6k and his effect is on play if you have a cost 6 or greater character in play KO up to one of your uh, opponents cost 5 or less characters so basically if you have the stage card and you play Sanji uh, Sanji himself becomes a 6 cost so you can actually KO something more or less for free this is insane this works for other effects as well or for other cards where you uh, need to have a certain cost character basically if you have the Sanji on the field you play the card and the card has already one cost more then we have jinbei jinbei is your a your free cost uh, card with 4000 power 1k counter and his effect is activate main once per turn give up to one if black characters uh, with destroyer type 
uh, plus two cost until the end of your opponent's next turn. So this is like a more stable uh, or a more secure way uh, than Heracles and Haridis uh, actually boost uh, the cost, but I mean, he can also just be deleted uh, pretty easily, but it's there are more ways where he could actually survive. So, I mean, you do not have to play him. He surely isn't that bad, but uh, we will see about that. I mean, our friends in Asia will do a lot of testing and we will see what is good and what is bad. But I can tell you right now that Usopp is going to be really good because he is your um, free cost, 4000 power, 1k counter and his effect is if he has a dot attached when attacking, K, uh, if you have a character with a cost of 8 or more, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 4 or less. So guys, just imagine having Robin on the field, imagine having Thousand Sunny already on the field, you play Usopp, most of the times Robin will be your 8k because you will be having something like Jinbei or something like Haridis on the field and you can just attach one down to Usopp, swing and KO a 9 cost more or less for free. This is insane, this is really really strong. So Usopp is definitely going to be used in this deck, you can be sure about that. As well as Nami, Nami is your uh, blocker in this deck, your uh, other super record basically. And she is a 3 cost, 2000 power, 1k counter, nothing insane, but on play if you have a character with a cost of 8 or more and have 6 or fewer cards in hand, draw one card. So she is your blocker, she actually draws a card, which is nice. This is something Black always, Black always needs. Um, there is nothing wrong about it. This is a good card, a blocker and uh, one, uh, also plus one draw. Uh, this is pretty insane, so Nami will most likely be used. So, right now I have also prepared some other cards for you guys. Those cards are not guaranteed to be included in this deck. I mean, there is no guarantee at all. These are just my thoughts. Some of them will most likely be included. Some of them will, will likely not be included. But these are just my thoughts and... I would just go quickly through them. I mean, we already know the leader. If you guys don't know what the leader does, you can just read through it. Uh, basically, with one down attached, uh, all of your characters get plus one. And if you control a cost eight or higher character, this leader gains plus a thousand. So basically, he becomes 6k in your opponent's turn, 7k on your turn. So pretty generic, but pretty strong. Don't forget, he is a monocolor, so he has five life. The card you will most likely and almost certainly run as a 4 of is Brook. This Brook is actually insane because he has on play when attacking, give up to one of your opponent's uh, characters minus one cost for this turn and then KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of zero. So I, I cannot see a card, uh, a deck where this card is not included. This is really really strong, he is a black straw hat. This is exactly what you needed. He gives minus one and he KOs something. So Brook is Brook is your man. Brook is your man in this deck and you will want him. And he will do work. Then we have his best friend Laboom. Most likely won't uh, be included in this deck, but the effect is really strong. Actually, uh, you just need to rest this character and give something minus four. And he has a, a base power of 5000, so you could actually protect him. It's, it's really not that bad, guys, if you think about it. But you do have other ways, like Robin, for example. I have just included her because she is that important and she's that good. And Nico Robin is just insane, so this is why she is in this list. But for whatever reason, if you would lack... Uh, a card or cards that actually give minus cost Laboom could be working in this deck honestly because giving just minus four and having a character which you can protect rather easily is more than worth guys so keep Laboom in mind uh, as I said all of these cards are not guaranteed these are just my thoughts but just keep them in mind then we have Kuzan, I mean, if we talk about the black deck, we automatically talk about Kuzan. This is a card where we don't need to, we don't need to 
think about a second. Kuzan can work in every black deck. Why not in this? He actually does what Robin does, just a bit worse, but Robin has better stats, but worse conditions, so... I don't see any card being as iconic in black as Kuzan, so you, you would just include him in this deck, most likely. This is also the reason, sadly, why this Kuzan is here. He is a, uh, a pricey card, he is sadly a good card. He is a 10 cost, so all of your effects will trigger almost immediately. He has 10,000 power, so he is really hard to get rid of. He has 10 cost, so he is hard to get rid of. He has an insane effect to give all minus 5 on your turn. He KOs on play a cost 0. I mean, what is there to say, guys? Just both of the Kuzans are insanely strong, insanely pricey, but this is just what value does to your wallet, to your deck. There is nothing much to say, I'm just shaking my head right now. Then we have another Admiral. Uh, he is not that, that good compared to his counterparts, but actually Isho being an 8 cost, having 9000 base power, with his effect to give all of your opponent's characters minus 3 to their cost. I mean, why not? Why not? Just keep him in mind. Also, if we talk about black, we are talking about the black blocker Zavo. This could be actually the first deck where I don't think that we need Zavo. Because Zavo helps us to give, um, to actually cycle through our deck and actually give, uh, get a few cards from our hand to the trash or from the deck to the trash. But I'm not quite sure if this deck really needs this effect. I mean, his effect to actually have a spell shield is still insane so most likely just for that he will be included but if this deck does not require the, the, the trash so much I mean Sabo could be easily changed with something that is more likely to be seen in this in this um, Monkey D. Luffy deck I mean actually why not run Sabo this is like the, the first thought from everyone thinking uh, when using a black deck, but if there are some better ways to get use of the uh, cost increase uh, style from this deck, I mean, I can see Sabo get rid of this deck, why not? Then we have Monkey D. Luffy from OPO4. This character is actually insane because he is a black straw hat. He works with all of your effects from the from the starter deck and he can, uh, also um, attack active characters and if you would include this card then you could actually include uh, Gum Gum King Kong Gun so you would have a I don't want to say big boss monster because he really isn't but you could have like a good game finisher so if you set up your game right you could actually have him on the field and on your next turn if he does not get removed you have a 7000 base character which can actually gain uh, double attack, gain plus 6000 power, so he would be a 13000 uh, uh, power character that could attack actually twice with double attack. I mean, why not? Seriously, why not include him in this deck? He is just all that this leader needs. He is a high cost black character, he is a straw hat type uh, card and he just helps you with all of your effects. So this could easily be like a great combo. I mean you cannot search for uh, the King Kong gun. I mean you cannot search for anything because there is no search but Kim, Kim Kong gun actually only works for this card. So that will be like a limited combo just for this card, but if you can manage to do so, phew, I don't think that people would expect this. So why not? Just saying, why not? Um, I don't think that Rebecca will be included because I don't see this deck playing so much with the trash. I mean, if we talk about black, Rebecca has to be there, but this is something similar with Moria. I mean, of course you have some cards that are in Moria range, but honestly, 
Do you really need Moria and, and Rebecca in this deck? Most likely, but depending on what our friends in Asia will come up with, as I said, I will gladly take every deck aspect which does not include Navy Admirals and Gecko Moria and Rebecca, because this deck has potential to be black, but different than every other black. Because just take a look at Sakazuki, take a look at Rebecca, take a look at Perona and at Moria. All of them use basically the same card. I mean, Rebecca has blue and she uses Dress Rosa cards, alright, but it's most likely the same. So, I would be really, really happy if we get a non standard black deck that does not use navies, that does not use Moria, that does not use Rebecca. I mean, they are good cards, they are amazing cards, and I mean, sure, if if you want to use them, if they are meta, then alright, we will use these cards, but I think you get the point. Then we have Brook from OPU6. Sadly, he is no straw hat because you could not uh, boost this card. He is a 6 cost though, so you could most likely increase him effortlessly to an 8 cost. Uh, an eight cost. He has a good effect where he can actually uh, trash a 4 cost. I mean it's nice. It's not amazing but it's nice. What is most likely going to be a better option is going to be Stussy. Uh, she is no straw hat at all but she, has, she is a natural 9 cost with 9k and her effect is just that strong. I mean she's one of the best OP07 cards and this card would actually work well with your a uh, with your one uh, one cost um, two k counters with what are their names with Hercules is his name Hercules no Heracles and uh, Haridas if you really need these cards or if you needed them uh, a turn ago you can just have them on the field and then kill them with Stussy or do it in the same turn because she is a 9 cost and they are 1 cost so this works actually. You don't have to. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if this card is going to see play in this deck specifically but I can see it so this is why she is in this deck. Then we have an interesting card. This is a straw hat card. This is the zombie Luffy. Uh, his effect is rather bad honestly. I mean trash up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 2 or less. If you reduce a high cost character to 2, this is alright, but the the effect afterwards is uh, rather bad. Uh, place any number of, uh, of character cards with a cost of 4 or more from your trash at the bottom of your deck in any order. This character gains plus a thousand power during this turn for every 3 cards placed at the bottom of your deck. So this is most likely never going to happen. This this card could actually only see play because of the uh, first part of the effect where you trash something similar like Brook does and he is actually a 5 cost, a natural 5 cost straw hat card with 6000 so you could boost him up to an 8, co to an eight cost pretty easily. Um, I mean this is just something I have noticed uh, this card is most likely not going to be included but maybe it will. I mean. It's not that bad, there are worse cards, for example Moria, for example Rebecca, I'm joking, they are not worse, but I would I would like them to not be included in this deck, I mean, I think you guys uh, have noticed this by now, it would be just really great if this would be an uh, out of box black deck. Then we have uh, the Secret Rare Sabo, where he actually on play. KOs a 5 cost and a 3 cost. This is just just as a staple black card, as a generic black card. This is amazing. Um, he is a natural 8 cost, so you can work with him. There is nothing much to say about it. Um, Robin, I have already talked about her. I love her. She's amazing. Ice Age is... I mean, it's that good. Uh, if you struggle with uh, Nico Robin, if you don't find her, you could have something like Ice Age. If you do not uh, play Kuzan, because the trigger is also really good, you KO a free cost or less. It's alright. You do not really need this card, but 
it really helps just for one don to give something minus five we already talked about king kong gun then we have the two event cards from the older black luffy st um, starter deck we have um, gum gum bell where you actually uh, take uh, the top card of your life to your hand and give one of your opponent's characters minus seven cost this will be like a last resort to get rid of some really really problematic card um, if you can actually take the card if you do not need it i mean do not need it if you can take the risk uh, and actually take the life and win the game with this condition then this card could be all right <sighs> it's not that great it really isn't but just the possibility to give a character minus seven is really really strong i mean if you have if the opponent just played a big man for example or a a, a tank cost whatever like a tank cost luffy or a tank cost shanks and this is like their win condition then this could actually really help to get rid of this so this is why the card is included in this um pile of cards right here it's 99.9% .9 not going to be included but this is just something for you to think of and uh, who knows maybe this will be a tech card but i i doubt it and then we have uh gum gum pistol this is honestly not that bad you can ko one character with a cost of two or less um the trigger is drawing a card i mean i mean you know for free down to ko a two cost it's not that bad it's not that great either i mean if i could <laughs> if i could choose to play this card or play brook i would play brook all day and in every situation but if i don't have brook if i do not have him in my hand in my trash whatever and i only have this i mean why not but it's not the first choice i see that and it's just there to be said and for you guys to think about so basically this these are all the cards included in the new uh Star deck 14 the new the newer and the better black monkey luffy leader so if you guys like this video then please leave a like and subscribe i am really interested in this deck and i hope that this deck actually does well and we will actually see more in the future so i will keep you guys updated and we will see each other in the next video peace